Hello, how are you? Today, inshallah, we will start with chapter 16, the evolution. And we will take lesson one, Darwin's voyage of discovery. Let's study the Darwin voyage of discovery. For my objectives today, the first one, state Charles Darwin's contribution to science and describe the three patterns of biodiversity, biodiversity noted by Darwin. Darwin's epic journey. What was Charles Darwin's contribution to science? We need to know what was Charles Darwin's contribution to science. Do you know? Have you ever heard with the Darwin's name? Let's find it. Darwin developed a scientific theory of biological evolution that explains how modern organisms evolved over long periods of time through descent from common ancestors. So, the discovery of Darwin about the biological evolution. Geologists were suggesting that Earth was ancient and had changed over time. And biologists were suggesting that life on Earth had also changed. The process of change over time is called evolution. So what we mean by evolution? The process of change over time time. Darwin developed a scientific theory of biological evolution that explained how modern organisms developed or evolved over long period of time through descended from common ancestors. So the relation or the theory is about biological evolution. So Darwin was, was invited to sail on the HMS Beagle five years voyage mapping the coastline of South America. So he wants to map the coastline of South America. So Darwin planned to collect specimens of plants and animals on the voyage. So he collects many specimens, specimens from plants or animals from the sites that he already going to. So no one knew it, but this would be one of the most important scientific voyages in history. Let's check what are the three patterns of biodiversity did Darwin note. Let's take the first one, which is Darwin noticed that different yet ecological similar animal species inhibit separated but ecological similar habitats around the globe. And the second one is Darwin noticed that different yet related animal species often occupy View different habitat within a local area. So, yet ecological similar animal species inhibit separated but ecological similar habitat. But here we have different habitat. So, similar animals with different habitat. And the third one is Darwin noticed that some fossils of extinct animals were similar to living species. So, the third observation that Darwin noticed, which is that some fossils of extinct animals were similar to the living species. So this is the observations of Darwin. And let's check what he found to write this observation. In the first part, that Darwin filled his notebook with observations about characteristics and habitat of the different species he saw. So everything is about the characteristics and habitat of the organism that he collects. As he traveled, Darwin noticed three distinctive patterns of biological diversity. Okay? The first one, species vary globally. The second one, species vary locally. And the third one, species vary over time. So, again, the distinctive patterns of biological diversity, species vary globally, species vary locally, and species vary over time. Darwin noticed that different yet ecological similar animal species inhabited separated but ecological similar habitat around the globe. So this is the first point. This is the first observation. Similar animal species inhibit separated similar habitat around the globe. So around the globe we have a similar habitat. So the similar animal will stay in these similar habitats. So, as an example, Darwin found flightless ground-dwelling birds called rays living in the grasslands of South America. Rays look and act a lot, a lot like ostriches, yet rays live uh, only in South America, and ostriches live only in Africa. 
So, when Darwin visited Australia's grasslands, he found another large fly, this bird, the emu. So, here we can say that the species will vary globally, have similar characteristics, similar, similar uh, structure, and in different, uh, in different location, okay? In different location or in different habitat, okay? Around the world. The second point is species vary locally. So Darwin noticed that different yet related animal species often occupy different habitat within a local area. So we are in the local area, same local area, but with different species. As an example, Darwin found two species of race living in South America, one in Argentina's grassland and the other in the colder, harsher grass and cropland to the south. Okay, so he found two species of races in different local area, in different habitats in the local area. And other example in the species vary locally, which is uh, small brown birds on the islands with peaks of different shapes. He didn't, he didn't consider that these small, smaller birds to be unusual or important at first, but well, in the final, he found that these uh, birds have this owl in the same species. The third point, which is species vary over time. Darwin also collected fossils, so which is observed, sorry, which is preserved, remain, or traces of ancient organisms. For these fossils, Darwin noticed that some fossils of extinct animals were similar to living species. As you can see here, this is the fossil, and this is the alive or lived animal that is already found in the uh, earth. They are similar. So from this observation, Darwin said that species vary over time. So if you want to put the pieces of the puzzles together. On the voyage home, Darwin thought about the patterns he had seen. Darwin sent plants and animal specimens to experts for identification, like the little brown birds with actually all species of finches also found nowhere else. So they resembled a South American finch species. And he spent years actively researching and filling notebooks with ideas about species and evolution. So from the points of Darwin or observation of Darwin, we have to know the three main points, which is species vary globally, species vary locally, and species vary over the time. At this point, the lecture is finished. Have a nice day.